Hey everybody, it's Dwayne, developer evangelist at Git Kraken. Today we're taking a closer look at Git Tag. This is a way in Git to mark a specific point in your commit history so you can later reference it for well, a good number of reasons. We're going to take a closer look at how it works, as well as an example using the command line interface, using Git Lens, and using Git Kraken Client. Git Tag, like all other Git commands, has a lot of options and a lot of subcommands you could possibly use. We're not going to cover all of them today. We would recommend you go to git-scm.com and look at the official documentation to dive through all of the ways you could possibly use git tag. Instead, today we're going to take a quick high-level overview and then go to our examples. To understand how git tag works, it's important to understand how git does what it does. Git provides us a way to take full snapshots of our project at any point we choose. We call those snapshots commits. We chain those commits together and we call those branches. At any point along any one of our branches, we can point to a specific commit and say, this is called this tag. That pointer then doesn't move. In this case, tag v1.0 will always point at version four. And if we keep adding commits, well, hundreds of commits, thousands of commits, tag v1.0 will only ever point to this one particular commit. It won't move around the way that you know, the name of the branch pointer or head, the special pointer that tells Git where it's at, move around pretty much all the time. Git tags are commitish references. Commitish is that wonderful word in Git that means it eventually leads back to a specific commit. This means we can use Git tags to perform checkouts, run diffs, or to make archives. Making archives from specific Git tags is actually pretty common. This is a good way to release your code to the public. You can make a tag marking a specific point where you're ready to release, then make an archive or a zip or a tarball of that particular bit of code and distribute that to an end user. There are two kinds of tags in Git. Lightweight tags, which only are a name pointing at a specific commit, and annotated tags. This allows you to provide a message explaining why you made that tag, as well as providing the, the tag name itself. For our example today, we're going to look at these four ways to use git tag. The first is a way to make a lightweight tag that simply adds a tag name to a specific commit. The second will let us make an annotated tag, where we can add a message along with a tag name that gets added to that commit. The third command here will show us the full list of all of the tags and any messages if there are annotated tags in that list of tags. And the last one, well, that's just how to delete a tag if you ever need to delete one. Let's first look at an example using the command line. So here I am in VS Code using the integrated terminal. And in case you're wondering, yes, GitLens is installed in my VS Code because I have my inline blame and my hovers, which show me, well, much more information about that commit. For right now, though, I'm curious to see what other tags exist. So if I run a git tag with nothing else beside it, it will simply provide a giant list of all the tags. That's somewhat helpful, but I think seeing the annotated tags is going to be a little bit more helpful. So if I run a git tag dash n, it will now show me all of the tags that are present in this repository, but also show me the annotations beside each one. So I know for a fact that we are on version 12.1 in the wild. Uh, so we have a tag for 12.1.2 right here. And if I want to go check out that code, I could go check out that version to see what's going on. But let's see what I've been doing recently. So if I clear my screen real quick and then do a git log one line, you see that I am on my tags branch and I've made a couple updates to this readme. I think my work is significant enough that I need to add a tag. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Do a quick clear. And I'm going to say git tag and let's say this tag is example demo because well that's exactly why i'm making this tag as an example for you and just like that that tag has been added to the last commit so if i do a git log one line again i'll just push up a couple times i see that a tag has now been added along with the other information in my git log and if i wanted to see the full list again i could do a git tag dash n and see, oh, there it is. Example demo, another last readme update for tags. If you don't provide an annotation, 
it will simply add in the last commit message as the annotation to provide a little more information about why that tag got made. So I'm gonna quit that, but all right, I don't really want that tag to be there or I wanna add my own annotation to a tag. So let's go ahead and remove that last tag example demo for right now. So I'm gonna do a clear and then I'm gonna do a git tag minus D to erase the tag and then provide that tag name example demo. And just like that, it has been erased. So if I run that same list again, you see it's not there. Now this time, I do want to add an annotation. So I'm gonna say a git tag dash A for an annotated tag, name the tag that I wanna use, still example demo. This time I'm gonna write a message. That message is made for demo reasons. And like that, it's done. So to see that tag again, I can run my git log as I did before. And there it is. Uh, my tag exists just like that. And if I want to see the annotation, I would run a git tag dash n. And there it is, example demo made for demo reasons. So if I want to then check out that tag or run a diff uh, between this tag and any other tag, uh, it's very straightforward. So actually let's do that real quick. So let me pick out a, another uh, version here. Let's say version 11.3.0, just to pick one at random, do a quick clear. And then I'll run a git diff between example tag, example demo tag, I should say, and then dot dot notation and say that particular tag. And here it is. I can see the full set of diffs between that particular tag and my tag. Now there's a lot of changes because I picked an older version of GitLens here, but the same principle will work for any set of commits or tags that you wanna choose. All right, let's clear that out. And that's how you use it in the command line. Since I'm already in VS Code, let me show you how you can use Git tags within GitLens. I have GitLens set up for me with all of the sidebar views set up under you know GitLens if I tag GitLens in my activity bar. So this view, my tags view, will show me all of the tags for this repo, as well as the annotations, without having to type any commands. They're simply there. If I wanted to add a new tag, I can simply tag it and then create tag at branch tags branch, uh, enter the name of the tag and hit enter to confirm. So tags branch one, we'll call it, enter to confirm, and then it gives me the chance to write my annotation right here. So I will say uh, test just for just for test purposes. And then we will go ahead and create that tag. So there you can see it happened just like that. I have a new tag here. But you know what? I actually don't need this tag because I have this other tag associated with it already. So to delete this one, I can right mouse click and choose to delete the tag. And it will even ask me to confirm. Do I want to do that? Yes, I, in fact, I do want to do that. So there we go, that tag is now gone. I could also do this from the command palette with command shift P and then let's look up git lens tags and it will open the tag view and let me uh, work from there or using the git command palette will let me run the git tag command from the command palette. Makes it a little bit easier to use git tag when you're working locally. And finally, here we are in git Kraken client. I yet again have the GitLens repository open, and over on the left-hand side, you'll see a tags section of the left-hand menu. Here, I can click on any of the tags that are present and jump immediately to that tag if that tag is present on all the commits that have been loaded. If I go way back in time and click on something, it won't actually move me to that commit in my history because I only load the last 500 commits by default the way I have set up Git Kraken Client. I would need to go under my commits and change this to much, much higher. So I can go way back in time and see all the commits in my history. But for my purposes today, I'm more interested in say this tag here. Now you notice that the annotations are not listed here in the sidebar, but if I hover over the tag, this little tag at the end of the tag, it will simply show me the annotation that I made for that tag. So to make a new tag and get cracking client, you point to the commit you want, right mouse click, and then create a tag here. You can create a simple tag or an annotated tag. 
Just because I've already explained the difference between tag and annotated tag, we'll make a annotated tag here. So this will be example one tag. And the annotation that I want to add is this is an example. Go ahead and submit that. And that tag has been added. And if I hover over, there's the annotation that I wanted. But let's say I don't want that there. Well, I can right mouse click on that tag and delete my tag locally. And go ahead and delete it. And I'm done. If I want to run a diff between this tag and say this tag, I can right mouse click on the tags over in the tag menu and solo those two tags. So I'll solo the one above it as well. And now I have these two tags soloed. So I can jump between this spot in time and this spot in time. And if I highlight uh, with a shift click all of those commits, I can go through and see all of the files that were changed and all of the commits that have happened. I can go through and start looking at the diffs of what has changed in all of these files between any of those commits. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it's been helpful for you to understand how Git tags work and how you can use them to your advantage in the command line, in Git lens, and in Git Kraken client.